Hey friends, I don't know how you got here, but I'm excited that you're here with me and that we have become friends. I hope you're all doing well. I am not doing quite so well. The heat is really affecting my chronic illnesses and I'm having a hard time. But I just wanted to come on and let you guys know that I'm okay. I'm just taking it easy and doing what my body says to do. Hey friends, welcome back to Llama Mama Kayla's Yarn Tube. I'm Kayla, and I thank you for stopping by and hanging out with me today. What do you have going on today? It's Sunday, August the 18th. Oh my goodness, it's, time is just flying by. Didn't it just turn August? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but what are you guys up to today? How is your August faring out for you and how is your Sunday going so I am gonna try to crochet on my hat a little bit today I'll be completely honest with you guys I have not been crocheting on it this weekend um, as you know just to recap a little bit as you know Wednesday I went to my doctor's appointment in Shreveport which is about a two and a half hour drive over um, for me and my husband, and then, um, did my appointment, we did some running around, and did some things that we just had needed to do, and did some things that we wanted to do, and we did too much, <laughs> I did too much for my body, and I'm still paying for it, okay, <laughs> Normally, that would be a hard day on me, and it does take me a couple of days to recuperate from such a day. But um, when you add in the heat, the day we were in Shreveport, it was 102 degrees. And that is hot. That is hot. The sun was just beaming down. We were in the city, so it wasn't like it was trees and shades. It's different from being in the city and being in the country. And this was just, you know, in the city, hot, hot, hot. <laughs> and that really just drained me, too. It really did. And so, um, that, that was a hard day. And normally that would take me some time to recuperate from on its own. And then you add in the heat, and it was really, really tough on me. And so... Um, Thursday, I tried to carry on, even though I felt really bad. And then by Friday, it just caught up with me. It caught up with me, and we had high heat over here. I let the house get too hot, and um, it played a number on me. <laughs> it made me so very sick, and I'm still trying to recover from that. I am. We've had the ACs running full blast since Friday, day and night. And that's what it's taken to keep up with this heat. Today, on Sunday, August 18th, here in Monroe, Louisiana, we are under excessive heat warning. It says... Um, here on the warning it says excessive heat warning dangerously hot conditions are expected with heat in excess of 110 degrees possible possible 110 degrees no it says excess of 110 degrees possible and y'all this is straight humid heat and, um, I mean, it's not up to 110 degrees here. It's like 104, did I see? And I'm not sure if that's absolutely correct for Monroe, Louisiana, but um, I saw something where it said 104 degrees today. And let me just tell you, that's hot. That's hot. Now, I'm not going outside. I hadn't been outside since Wednesday. <laughs> And I don't plan to go outside, but I have to open the door and let Phoebe in and out to potty. And that heat just slaps you right in the face, right in the face when you open that door. And I just barely open the door and I say, Phoebe, you ready? 
Uh, but it does say on here, heat exhaustion and heat strokes are likely with prolonged exposure to these conditions. Drink plenty of fluids, stay in air-conditioned places, check on relatives or those who are vulnerable to the heat, bring pets inside, and give them shady or give them a shady place to rest and plenty of water. Know the signs and symptoms of heat exhaustion. Yeah, it's, it's really serious out there. My heart goes out to anybody that's out on, you know, having to work out in this heat. And then anybody who's out on the streets. Oh, I'm so sorry. My heart goes out to you. So what have I been doing? I have been in the bed a lot <laughs> this weekend. I'll come in here and sit down and just try to do something. And then I'm just like sick feeling. And I just have to go lay back down. So I've been taking it easy this weekend. You know, sometimes I fight my body. <laughs> I'm not a good listener. And sometimes I fight my body and I don't do what it says. And then I end up paying for it later. And so now I'm trying to I'm trying to listen to my body and pay more attention to my body. And when it says go lay down, I'm trying to go lay down. Sometimes I do fight it though, just because I'm tired of laying down or I want to be up. <laughs> But this weekend, I've been totally listening to my body. I really have. And I've just been sick. Friday, I got very nauseated. I started throwing up. I got so hot. I was just throwing up and throwing up. And um, I think I lost a lot of fluids from that. So I've been trying to drink, drink, drink. Right now, I have some tea sitting right here beside me that I've been sipping on. And I do have a um, big bottle um, cup with a handle on it that I take by my bed when I go lay down. And it's much cooler in the bedroom than it is up here. Now, I cannot sit in bed and crochet. That hurts my back. I, I can't figure out how to sit in bed and crochet. My back goes to hurting very badly. And then I'm down in my back. So I can't do that. And I can't lay in bed and crochet. So crocheting in the bed is out for me. I've tried that several times. And I just I can't do it. I want to be able to do it. But I just can't. So yeah. I can only crochet here at my desk. To be honest with you. Ugh. <laughs> uh. So I hope you guys aren't having the excessive heat that we are having, but I know some of you guys probably are. And you guys who are on the other side of the world and you're having cold, cool, nice temperature. <laughs> Not really, but <laughs> but it is hot. It's hot, okay? I don't wish I could. Yeah, we'll get that soon enough, and then we'll be complaining about being cold, okay? But I'm sick and tired of complaining about the heat right now. <laughs> I can handle cooler temps better than I can handle heat. Heat makes me so sick, and it is bad for... Um, a lot of my chronic illnesses, lupus and scleroderma and all that, heat is bad for that. And cold is bad for my Raynaud's and Crest and all. So, yeah, I can't win for losing because it's always going to be bad for one of my illnesses, whether it's the heat or the cold. But at least when it's cold... You can put on clothes and get under blankets, and there's electric blankets and things like that so that you can get warm. But when it's hot, I mean, you can take every stitch of clothing you have on and you're still hot. <laughs> yeah, I mean, seriously. 
I can deal with the cold better than the heat. So yeah, I've just been sick all weekend. Thankfully yesterday, I was like, well, I've got that world market video clips that I can put together and make a video. So I just laid in bed and did that. And then I come in here and did a voiceover. But yeah, I was thankful that I had those clips on my phone that I could just put together for a video yesterday. I'm going to go drink of my tea. Drinking out of my Care Bears cup. And I'm just drinking just some uh, Louisiana sweet tea. I don't have any ice in it. I have some ice in there, but I have these lights on while I'm crocheting and filming. Well, while I'm filming. If I was just crocheting and not filming, I would turn this one off. But it's this kind of gets a little warm right here with these two lights on. And so I thought I'm not going to put any ice in my glass, my cup here, because it's just going to melt. And then my tea would be watery. It wouldn't taste good. So I didn't put any ice in it. So yeah, we're, we haven't been going anywhere. We just been hanging out in the bedroom, mostly for me. Big Daddy's been in the den um, watching, I think, some Elvis show. Somebody, somebody in the Facebook group shared an Elvis something with him and so he's been watching that and I think he watched some Elvis movie I think it was just Elvis's um death anniversary and so he's been watching Elvis all weekend <laughs> he really does like Elvis and I do too I do too but um so we really hadn't done anything, just trying to stay cool. He's got it dark back there in the den. It's dark and um, that helps it stay a little cooler, you know, with the lights out and everything. And here comes Sassy. What are you doing, Missy? She's like, oh, what are we doing up here today? <laughs> <laughs> I need to count and see how many rows I'm at on my hat. I have crocheted on this very little. Like I thought I would have crocheted on it and knocked it out and got, you know, got this hat finished. But that's just not been the case. When you don't feel good, you don't feel good. And you just can't do all the little things you want to do. Sometimes surviving is your best bet. <laughs> So I am just crocheted on it very little here and there as I tried to just, um, you know, come in here and sit up for a little bit. I crochet on it just a little. And hopefully that little by little by little does add up. I'm almost to the um, beginning of this row. And then we'll count and see how many rows I'm at. And I need to go to about 18, right? I could stop a little shorter than that. I could probably stop right now if I wanted to, but I did want this to be like a um, baggy, slouchy hat. So I think 18 is my rose for that. But let's see where we're at in just a moment. What are you guys working on? Do you have a crochet project or a knitting project or some other kind of project that you're working on? I hope you're doing something to enjoy your day. This is enjoyment for me. Like I said, every time I get up and I come to the bathroom and I'll sit down at my desk for a minute, I'll crochet a little bit on this, not a whole round. But I've just been crocheting, you know, a few 
a few uh, clusters here and there. Trying to get some work done, but it's, you know, I feel like I'm at least working towards getting it done <laughs> instead of doing nothing. I like to be productive, but sometimes that's hard, especially when you have a chronic illness and chronic pain. Sometimes it just gets to be hard to do things. Sassy's been, she's been up here on my desk, but she's exploring every little thing. To decide if she's, you know, what she's doing. I don't know what she's doing. She's looking up on top of my shelf that my monitors are sitting on. What are you doing, Sassy? I think she wanted up on that shelf. She acted like she wanted to jump up there, but it would, I've purposely set some things up there so it would not be enough room for her up there. So I don't want her jumping up there, actually. Sassy, you need to just lay down, girly. Nope, nope, that's mine. She is just looking at everything on my desk like it's her first time up here. Sassy, what are you doing? No, that's my scissors. You don't need scissors. We don't want to cut your tongue or nothing, girly. I don't know what she's doing. <laughs> I don't think she does either. At one point this morning, I woke up and Sissy, our black and white cat, the one who is not as, in fact, you know, affectionist. She, she doesn't like a lot of affection. She was, I woke up and she was sitting on this yellow stool by my bed, just sitting there staring at me like that wasn't creepy at all. And so I was like, well, good morning, Sissy. And then I kind of petted the bed beside me. I was just kind of like this. And she jumped over on the bed. And then she came up there by me. And I was like, well, good morning, sissy. Lay down and let's go back to sleep. You know, and I just laid there still. I didn't mess with her. Because she don't like that. And she laid down there, hunkered down and laid down and got comfortable. And we both fell asleep. I was dozing in and out. And I'd wake up, and she was there, and so I petted her once. I just kind of petted her one time, and she was okay. And so a few minutes later, I petted her twice, and she was okay. So I waited a little bit, and then I petted her a third time, and she kind of acted like she might jump up and run. And so I stopped petting her, and I just talked to her. And she laid there for a little while longer. I was needing to get up to go to the restroom by that time. But I tried to just lay there and just enjoy a little time with her because it's just rare that she is, you know, wants affection. <laughs> okay, so this one is my center. Let me figure out which one is my center. I think it's this one. Yes. This one is the center, so I'm going to count over and see how many rows I've got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I could totally stop at fifteen. <laughs> But guess what? I think I'm going to go to 16. 
So in the next video of this hat, I'll probably be putting the brim on this hat. And I'll, I'll start by doing some increases, though. <laughs> Oh, sassy scared me. So I'll I'll be I will be doing the brim for this hat and showing some decreases. I just think this is a lovely color though. I think it's gonna be a really pretty hat to match the poncho. Because it's the same exact yarn that I made that poncho with. So I can't wait for cooler weather. It may be November before I get to wear this. <laughs> Usually sometime, well, I mean, it can be Halloween and be hot, hot, hot here. Kids can't even wear, you know, trick-or-treat costumes because it's just too hot. Sometimes we've had to run the air conditioner on Christmas Day. You just never know. We might have a cool day here and there, and then it may end up hot again. So you just never know, really. I am going to do another row on this. As you can tell, I started the next row already. But I may, st I may shut it off at the 16 rows, and the next video that I do on this hat will be the brim. And we're going to be doing some decreases, because if you look at that, you can see that that is really big. Really, really big. Sassy, what are you doing, baby? Huh? She's been sleeping with me some, too. And Phoebe has. Phoebe was up there um, laying in Sassy's spot. And Phoebe was asleep. And Sassy had jumped up on the bed. And I could feel her kind of walking up the side of us. And she walked up. And I kind of pulled the cover down a little bit so she could see Phoebe's head. And she did. She saw Phoebe's head and she turned around and she just walked away. <laughs> you sweet girl. You sweet girl, Sassy. What is you, baby? You sweet baby. My Phoebe's sweet too. And sissy sweet. She just don't, you know, want a lot of loving. <laughs> well, guys, I'm going to let you all get going. I feel like I need to go lay back down again. Um, it is much cooler in here than it was on Friday when I got so sick. <clears throat> but it's so hot outside that the air conditioner's aren't really keeping it cold in here um just because it's so hot they can't keep up with the heat if it wasn't so hot outside it would be freezing cold in here from having the ac on so much so i'm still a, a little warm not not sweating cold you know hot but it's enough to make me, you know, feel a bit nauseated at times. I still haven't got over that. So I'm going to go lay down and just try to cool off and rest. But I hope you all are having a good day. I hope you're staying cool. And let's pray for a cold front to come through. We need a cold front. And I will see you all later in the next video. We got Monday coming up. Um, we'll see what this week brings us. And I'll see. What all have I got going on this week? I know I have a doctor's appointment on Tuesday. Yeah, on Tuesday I have a doctor's appointment here in town. 
Hopefully I'll re be recuperated enough to by then to go. <laughs> and then I'm not sure what all we have going on this week, but <laughs> poor baby. Oh, I think she's feeling it too. It's time to get in the bed, ain't it, Sassy? She is so sweet. She my sweetheart, and she knows when I don't feel good. Her and Phoebe both. I don't think Sissy really cares, but sometimes she surprises me. All right, guys, I'm gonna let y'all get going for reels, for reels this time, and I'll see you in the next video. Love you guys. Um, stay cool. I'll see you all later. Bye, friends. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I'm uh, sorry I'm not feeling so hot. I mean, I am feeling hot. I'm sorry I'm not feeling so great. <laughs> and the video was pretty much me just telling you how bad I'm feeling. I'm sorry, guys. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you later.